I baked this for you. No, no. And these. And this as well. And these. And this. <laughs> no! No more baking. In your mouth. What can I do for you, sugar? My purpose in life has, like so many others, come to a raging halt amidst this terrible pandemic. As we all know, states and countries are starting to open up again slowly, but Life as we know it won't be the same, at least for a long time. It feels like yesterday that my industry was booming and going to work just felt like being with my family. I felt, I felt aligned with my calling. What I was put on this beautiful earth to do every day. My name's Faith Boyle, and I'm a Hollywood stand-in. Action! All right, second team, that was a great take. Back to one. All right, places, everyone. Background, go. And action! And cut. This is a hot set, lady. You're in my shot here. You've been inside way too long, lady. In show business, you always, always, always have to stay in the zone. Hollywood's probably not gonna be anywhere near its full capacity anytime soon, but when it does, it waits for no one. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh second second ad o'neill what can i do for you how are you you staying healthy uh hey Faith. i'm trying to finish the last clip of that episode we weren't able to wrap for quarantine uh, unfortunately buddy roger's been knocked down with the rona last week and you're the most reliable five eight and a quarter gal we got so uh you know this is a big moment what do you think, you in? I was born to shoot this for you. We just have to stay six feet apart, though. Yeah. Yes! 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 Showbiz, baby, am I right? <laughs> it might be terrible of me to say this, but it's looking like the pandemic is the best thing that ever happened to me. Now, I've stood in for Anne Hathaway, Greta Gerwig, Alexandra Daddario, but I've actually never made it on air. My mom can finally brag about me at her bridge meetings. My infectious disease fighting brother can suck it. Oh, hey guys, there they are. All right, uh, camera real simple. You get the close up on the phone, make sure you see it there. Partial arm should be fine. Uh, Faith, can you give me like a real naturalistic take? That's all I'm looking for. All right, great. <clears throat> all right, uh, second team, who's actually first team, but technically second team, go to one. Everyone knows that second team is production's favorite. We make shit happen. Background go and action. And cut. All right, good. Yeah, I liked how that uh, that looked from here. Um, Faith, brilliant. I think that's a, a one take wrap on you. Yeah, I think we're all set. <clears throat> Gotta keep those reps in. Sure you don't need anything else? Side of my face maybe? No. Cool. <laughs> really 
exciting day for me. I just, I really wanted to go celebrate somewhere. And the only place I wanted to come to was the studios. They might still be closed, but they can't stop me from looking at it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I've seen your kind before. Seen a million of you. Ma'am, I'm going to have to ask you to leave if you don't have an essential reason for being here. What? You don't own the sidewalk? I'm just looking. You obviously don't know who I am. I'm about to be someone. You're going to regret this, lady. Eat, sleep, gym, repeat. these trying times where the days blend together, let us not forget what matters most. In a world where social distancing is essential, the only thing we have is time. Time that should be spent with loved ones, not wasted on the non-essentials. Seconds are minutes, minutes are hours, and hours are memories lost and forgotten. While there are many ways to say I love you, there's only one way to let them know you mean it. Diamonds. For the few who still have an income, now wash your hands in what most of the country can't afford. Make her feel like she's 100% loved and the 1% of America. In the safety of closed quarters, emotions run high. Shower her with diamonds. She doesn't only love your money, she loves you because you have money. Diamonds. That workout slaps. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry I didn't see you there. Sorry, I, I was walking and I didn't notice you. Is your car fine? Oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. What were you doing? Bird watching. And you? Um bird watching as well. Hey, I should probably get your information just in case you have any medical bills or anything. Oh, I'm fine, trust me. Hey, I gotta get going, I have a meeting. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, keep your eyes up. I'm Mike. I never got your... Elizabeth, do you live here? Yeah. Well, kind of. By here. Just like a few blocks away. I just really like the bird here. Birds. What? You said bird? I think you meant birds? Yeah. Yes. And you? You live here or you like the birds here too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I live here. Not not too far at all. I just, I think the bird here is pretty cool. Birds. Yes, birds. Okay, why are you really here? You're gonna think it's weird. Try me. It's a little uncouth. I'm listening, no judgment here. It's lame. You're gonna think I'm a total weirdo. No, I'm not. Scout's honor. Okay, well, I'm stalking George. Jerry, never use their real names. 
Wait, are you? Guilty. It's not even a crime, we're just observing. Tell that to my parole officer. No way, you've been caught? <sighs> it's complicated. <laughs> yep. I just moved here because the neighbors in my old apartment complex are starting to feel uneasy. It's all those unrealistic shows. And films! They're all so fake. The portrayal of us is so- Monstrous! The acting sucks. The scenarios are so unrealistic. We would never engage someone. It's called stalking, not, not talking. talking. <laughs> For a reason. We should go out. What are you doing tomorrow? I'll pick you up. Wait, how do you know where I live? I'm gonna go home. Oh. I can stay. No, it's it's fine. You don't need to stay. I just thought I have a long day tomorrow and I should probably get some sleep. Okay. Look, I know you're upset, just this is all so new to me, I just don't wanna get hurt. Look, you don't have to explain yourself to me, okay? I I'm used to it by now. Just just go. Look, I, I can't deal with all this right now. Just know that this means a lot to me. Hey, I'm sorry about... You don't have to be. You're not... We're not obligated to one another. And it's crazy for me to expect to think that you'd be bound to relationship terms like we each have with our bird. I still want to see you. I think I need some space. So this is it? Just like that? Yeah. I'm not giving up on us. I'm always going to be watching you. I hope so. I just know better. This isn't some rom-com where everything just works out in the end, you know? Just a few.
scrawny. Because muscles are a terrible thing to waste. Hey kids, bored? Introducing My Little Conspiracy Theory Coronavirus Edition. Everything you need to become a crackpot detective in a global pandemic. <laughs> Direct hit! <laughs> what you guys doing? We're doing rocks at the 5G tower. It spreads COVID-19. I don't think that's how viruses are spread. Also, that's a power line. Yeah, that's what they want you to believe. Sheeple! Cite your sources! My Little Conspiracy Theory will help you uncover the truth. The real truth. Each kit includes clues to uncover the deep state. And that's why Dr. Fauci is under my the government. So we have to kill him and Bill Gates and George Soros? A fully operational Wuhan lab. I'm gonna release a biological weapon on the world. I'm gonna tweet about it. And I'm one in three Americans who believes this shit. And supplements from the dark web. <laughs> Order now and we'll include syringes of infection fighting bleach. My Will Conspiracy Theory, for all your growing minds and future paranoid maniacs. I'll never register as a Democrat or a Republican, because I'm a free thinker! Coming soon, Chemtrails Edition. So we should have been wearing the masks all along? Anyone want to join a militia? Please, call me by my Christian name, Lil Bullet. Hi guys, it's Molly. I'm coming at you from my home kitchen, and today I'm gonna to teach you one of my favorite comfort foods, creamy mashed potatoes. When I think of comfort food, my mind immediately goes to creamy mashed tates because they're just, perfect, they're creamy, they're peppery, they're everything you need after a long, stressful day at work. So what you need for this recipe is three pounds of tates. Any potato you have should work. I'm gonna use russet because they provide that deep, rich flavor that you think of when you think of mashed tates. We have one clove of garlic, half a cup of butter, some black pep, flaky salt, and of course, for a cheesy finish, some shredded cheddar. Uh, cheddar is my personal favorite, but any cheese you have that might melt quickly should work fine. Uh, hey, Paul, you have uh, something in your nose? Oh no, is it a bug? Oh no, I'm setting a terrible example. We're gonna start by cutting our tapes into quart quarts. Next, we're gonna cut the garlic. We're gonna actually, we're gonna slice it lengthwise. What? Oh, sh <laughs> Brad told me if I put an ice pack on my neck, it'll help. I don't think I believe him. Okay, I've had my fair share of nosebleeds, okay? Wow. Have you been drinking enough water? Thanks, Brad. Hey, you know what, uh, what really works is uh, you shove a, a little tampon up in your nostrils. Uh, yeah, yeah, back in my wrestling days, we used to. Brad, yeah. Brad, can you just get my tates off the off yeah. the burner? So now we're gonna mash them. Um, ideally, you have a tape masher at home, but if not, in a pinch, a fork will work. We've melted the butter in a pan and we're gonna add our garlic to it. Um, and we're gonna keep the garlic in there until it gets toasty, so like a little brown, but not like brown brown. So we're gonna pour in the butter. Oh, that smells good. And then we're gonna start folding in the ched. Oh, 
Jesus, okay. I'll be, I'll be right back. Are you sure you want to do this again? We can do this another day. We can start. No, no, I, I can't abandon my tates. I just, I, I can do this. Just give me a second. Okay, now that all of our ingredients are combined. Sorry, I got a little tistis there. Um, so we can start seasoning. I just, I just need one min. Okay, so Molly lost a lot of blood this morning, so uh, I'm gonna do a little Philly fill in, and uh, I'm gonna teach you how to make some blood potatoes. Mm, I feel like a baby. Bon appetit. You know my pants aren't padded? Those are my actual thighs. This is so nice. So nice. Do you ever feel bad that we're enjoying lockdown so much? I guess. Kind of. Maybe we could do something. Like, maybe we could raise money for, I don't know, like, hungry babies? Oh my god, yeah, because they're always, like, crying. Yeah. Oh, we could do a car oh wash! <laughs> Like sophomore year, when we raised all that money for Kelly Stokes so she could go to prom because she needed a wheelchair ramp. And then she showed up with a walking boot. <laughs> that bitch. This time though, I'm not wearing a bikini and using my body to get customers. Ew, we're not Paris Hilton slinging cheeseburgers on the hood of some car dripping wet. Oh, great. A car wash fundraiser. Sweatshirts? You two must be hot. How now. dare you make assumptions of what we look like underneath all these clothes? No, I just mean the tennis. This is a charity, not a nudie show. Yeah, beat it. So, like, tip the babies first? Oh, yeah, please? Fine. Oh, purr. Gross. Doing all right there? Uh, that sweatshirt's looking pretty waterlogged. Let me guess, you think you're getting a wet t-shirt contest? You'd like that, wouldn't you? You just want me to take off all my clothes. Joke's on you. I have six layers of clothes on. Yeah, perv. Ew. Ew. Ugh, this is taking forever. Can you girls move any faster? <sighs> Crushing me. This is as fast as my arms can move. Get this off me. I don't know. Maybe Paris Hilton had it right. <laughs> Put some clothes on, you perverts. Are there any secrets to this? Oh.